Hello, and welcome to the SAP Business One overview video series. Today, we're going to be looking at sales. And specifically under sales, what we're going to be looking at is a return. As we know, returns do happen. We want to make it as simple and easy to be able to do that return process. So there's a couple of different ways that we could do that. If I needed to do a manual return, as with anything in Business One, I can go in and I can click on that, be brought to a blank return screen. If I want to be able to look at previous returns that have happened, I can click through those within the system. I can also go here through my sales process, and we can see that I have a return item here that comes directly from my delivery. So I could click on that and be taken to that screen. But what we're going to do today is we're going to look at a sales order that has been delivered. However, we're going to need to have a return because the customer said, no, uh, I actually don't really want that product. So let's look at how that process was done. I'm going to look at a sales order that I have here. And you can see that that sales order is closed because a return, I mean, a delivery has been created. Let's go take a look at that. Here's my sales order, my delivery. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that delivery. And we're going to go down to this copy two, and we can see that I can do a return. Now, I have two ways that I can do this. I have a return request. I also have a return. So if I had a process where if I did a return request, and then it has to go through an authorization process within the system, okay, I could do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a return directly from this sales order. So this screen has now been populated with all of the information. I'm doing a full return of the sales order. I could remove one of the items if I wanted to, or only have a return for a specific item if it was out of group of items. So you don't have to do the whole thing. But now what we're going to do is we're going to add this on into the system. And we can see now that once that's been added in, so simple and easy. I'm going to go back to that previous document. Let's go look at that relationship map now. And we can see that, here we go, I have my sales order to a delivery to a return. So it's a nice way of being able to track returns that are coming back in while still keeping the full integrity of all of the documents linked together. So I want to thank you very much for listening to my SAP Business One overview today focused on sales returns. <laughs>